Check it out. Little story time. I know you guys always like to see me fucking lose a lot of money. I know that's always a great time for you. Uh, T lost money. This is great. I'm so happy. Like, 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 like. Okay, guess what? Here's another like for you. Check this out. I order $100,000 in trees. It was more like 85, 90 grand, but we're just gonna call it 100 because 100 sounds better. 100000. 100 racks in trees. Palm trees, all kinds of bushes, everything. Plants get there. The boys are organizing them. It took them six hours to take the trees off the semi truck and organize them on the street. They were packing the boxes tightly so the trees don't sway because it was windy that day. And they're packing the boxes, packing the boxes. Everything was good. And then out of nowhere, this happened. I post that video on Instagram and a lot of you are like, oh dude, that tree is dead. So it was a 60 inch palm tree. It was a king palm or a queen palm. I think it was a queen palm, 60 inch queen palm. If the crown breaks, that tree is toast. Four weeks after the tree still looking very healthy. So the crown did not break. Luckily, nothing happened. But this got me thinking, that could have been a very costly mistake. That tree could have cost me 10 grand. I truly think after watching that video over again, I think the porta potty saved it. Cause the thing was going down and it hit the porta potty and then it hit the ground. And that is why you should have porta potties on the job site. But I know it's more entertaining when I lose money. So guess what? We're gonna talk today about top three biggest mistakes that have costed me hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're gonna go three, two, one. Negligence. That's when the employee knows they did something wrong but doesn't communicate it with you and they still try to cover it up. I've had this happen. When that happened, I immediately, I was like, okay, the employee has to go. And I've actually fired two guys because of that. Negligence. And that's a big thing. When they disregard, they made a mistake and they try to cover it up to save face. That's stupid, bro. I always tell my guys, if you make a mistake, it's no big deal. Let's fucking fix the mistake and let's move forward. The worst thing you can do is try to cover it up. So example, <clears throat> there was a great employee I had. I know a lot of you guys have seen him before. Great guy, I still like him very much. I want nothing but the best from success, all that shit. We were doing a, a job and we're excavating the front yard and the water line broke. And this was a inch and a half water line. So water just started going everywhere. So then they're rushing to get tool, the little key to close the water line. The water line, it's literally rusted. So water is literally gushing for about six minutes. And they got a breaker bar and they clap that thing closed. Now, this whole driveway area is just full of mud. All of that has to be excavated and hauled out of here. Now, if you have time, yeah, you can probably just let it dry, but we have a driveway to put in. The smart thing to do would be to rip all that mud out, tell the homeowner, hey, your water line is actually broken. We need to replace the entire thing because if we just patch it up, by the way, these water lines are like 60 years old, 70 years old. So because we have the opportunity to replace it, it's time to do so. Now we have to tell the homeowner and give him a price he has to accept. So, and the homeowner in this case was really cool. He would have been like, yeah, sure, go ahead. But this particular employee, he did not tell me. He didn't call me. He didn't send me a picture, video, nothing. I found out randomly because I was in the neighborhood and for no reason, I just stopped by, literally for no reason. And I, and I went there and I was like, what happened? The ditch which is like sunken in the mud, the excavator's full of mud, there's a mud pit. And the one thing that completely triggered me was there was base rock on top of the mud. They were literally taking base rock and putting base rock on top of the mud. If I didn't go there, they would have literally covered it up and put pavers over it. And literally in a month, two months, that entire thing would have sank and that would have ended up costing me twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. It's so easy for a business owner to lose 40 grand. For if you have a smaller business and something like this happens to you and you don't have enough cash flow or reserves to actually foot the bill, guess what? You're going bankrupt, especially if you don't have good credit. Negligence, that is huge. The second thing that's gonna cost you a bunch of money is when you underbid work. When you don't know how to do your contracts, when you don't know how to do bids, when you don't have the right software to measure everything. When you get plans and then you get a little ruler and you start half-assing stuff instead of click, 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 click. That's cost me so much money. But before I even knew there was a software that you can actually click, 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 set a scale and click, 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 I did the measuring thing. And that measuring thing, it cost me a lot of money. But one thing that saved my butt is I have in my contracts, square foot will be remeasured and multiplied by the amount charged. Square foot will be remeasured and multiplied by the amount charged. That was one of the secrets that I've had for the longest time. 
and that has saved my butt so many times. The homeowner decides to extend it by 100 square feet. At the end of every job, I just remeasure everything and then redo the proposal. That's all I do. It's fair. If you get more pavers, you gotta pay more. If you get less pavers, you pay less. Now, when you underbid things, that is the easiest way to lose so much money. One, you underbid the square footage. Two, you didn't think that something would take as long as it did, and it does. Labor is the biggest expense. You have no idea. Labor is the biggest expense. Another example, if you go to the shop every single day and load up your tools, and then you go to the job site, you're losing an hour a day instead of having the tools at the job site. Make working simple. That's why you need machines. You need a team, okay? If it's you and a guy, you're gonna hate your life. If it's you and 10 guys, it's gonna be a lot easier. And by the way, if you guys are installing a bunch of plants like we, we were doing at that job where the tree fell, bro, you know how hard it would be for two people, three people to do that? But if you got 10 guys on site with a bunch of machines and equipment, excavators, Ditch Witch, Caterpillar, bang, bang, bang. Everyone's banging out. We got forks everywhere. It's a lot easier. And if you want to know how to do the click, click, click contracts thing, I have a program for that. Get and Go King. The program is free. Once you're in the group, the program is free. Get and Go King. I promise you I'll change your life. There's 520 people in there right now. We're going to 1,000. I will change your freaking life. The biggest mistake I've ever made, number one, number one biggest mistake is not hiring the right people quick enough, pussyfooting around, and just being a complete cunt. That is the biggest mistake, being scared. Boys, as long as I'm taking risk, there's a big progression, right? If my life keeps improving, the company keeps going up, the business keeps making more money, that right there is a sign that I'm going in the right direction. But in the beginning, I was very uncertain of myself. How can you blame yourself? Because you don't know what you're doing. You know, in the beginning, that's that was my biggest mistake. I didn't hire enough people fast enough and I didn't qualify them well enough. Taking your position, right? You're, you're probably just a one-man show, two-man show, whatever, you're mowing lawns with you and your friend, whatever, being stupid. And then you're like, well, I'm stressing out. Business is hard. Well, of course it's hard. You don't have the right people. You don't have a good team. The team is so important. And I see so many guys on YouTube, they're like, why are you giving Jose so much? You're giving him a truck. You're showing him how to do this. You're giving him a computer. He's gonna start his own company. What do I care? Start your own company, Jose. Guess what? The first five years are gonna suck dick. You're not gonna make any money. Finally, I'm starting to make a little money after all the processes are in place. Owning a company is not easy. It's not like you're just going out and starting a business, especially in California. California is like one of the hardest places to be an employer ever. Payroll screws you, workman's comp screws you, insurance screws you, taxes screws you, Cameron screws you, everyone screws you. Point being, hire the right people, man. Hire the right people. Don't be scared about taking risks. Three, four people in my company make 40 bucks an hour. Can you say the same? Do you even make $40 an hour? No, I would rather them get paid first than me because without them, there's no business. My job is easy. I've actually done, I've done this for so long that I can actually close deals and it's not even a big deal. I'm about to go close one right now. It's probably like $45,000, $50,000. Hire the right people. Stop being a pussy. Also, join Goat Gang. See you later.